What is going on everybody? Today we are covering artificial intelligence or AI. From Siri to Alexa bossing us around to self-driving cars taking the wheel, AI has taken over our lives. But where did it all start? We'll get strapped in and let's fly on over to the history of AI. We have a flat tire. How do I tie a bow tie again? What's the fastest way to Hartford Hospital? Do I need an umbrella? Need Although this? AI feels like second nature to us now, have you ever wondered about its humble beginnings? Join us as we journey back in time to unravel the intriguing origins of AI that paved the way for intelligent machines that surround us today. Every year, some 3,000 young men from all parts of the world, from every section of the United States, converge in a small community on the edge of the Connecticut River in Upper New England. They come to Hanover, New Hampshire to live, work, and learn together as students at Dartmouth College. It all began in 1956 at Dartmouth College, when a bunch of computer geniuses like John McCartney, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon coined the term artificial intelligence. They believed that a machine could be designed to perform tasks that usually required human intelligence. Thus, the first AI program, Logic Theorist, was born. Logic Theorist was also known as the General Problem Solver, or GPS, which is not what we think of GPS as of today. And it was designed to mimic the problem-solving skills of a human and was the first AI program to demonstrate the ability to solve complex problems. It could finally solve problems that even our math genius friends couldn't solve. The Logic Theorist paved the way for the development of many other AI programs and technology. I'm convinced that machines can and will think. I don't mean that machines will behave like men. I don't think for a very long time we're going to have a difficult problem distinguishing a man from a robot. And I don't think my daughter will ever marry a computer. But I think the computers will be doing the things that men do when we say they're thinking. I'm convinced that machines can and will think in our lifetime. What on earth is that? Why, that's Felix. Felix, what, what is he, a pet or a mascot here at MIT? Well, you, you could call him a pet at the Institute. Uh, he doesn't greet everybody that way. Uh, in fact, he's not greeting you at all. Uh, he's just looking for some sunlight. Felix is a device that shows how a machine can take over one of the human senses, vision. Uh, he is a machine that represents an advance in evolution. Would you say that machines are becoming smarter and smarter? Yes, we're making them smarter and smarter. We're building into them better memories. We're building into them the possibility of learning. And those things are happening very fast. By that, do you mean that uh, we have machines that actually think? The word think is one of the words like life and so on, and soul, which are bad words. They mean just what we want them to mean. But I would say that we have machines which, if they were to be for the first time discovered by an animal psychologist, would be said to think in the way that animals do, yes. In the 1960s, AI had taken root. Programs were developed to play games like checkers, and the first industrial robot was introduced by Unimation. This robot could perform simple tasks like moving objects on an assembly line, which allowed companies to cut jobs. But what really worries me today is what's going to happen to us if machines can think. And what interests me specifically is can they? Well, that's a very hard question to answer. If you'd asked me that question just a few years ago, I'd have said it was very far-fetched. And today I just have to admit I don't really know I suspect if you come back in four or five years, I'll say, sure, they really do think. The 1970s saw AI being used in space exploration. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory created an AI system to analyze data from the Apollo 11 mission. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Neil Armstrong's been on the lunar surface now almost 45 minutes. As you could see in the 1970s, the field of artificial intelligence experienced the emergence of groundbreaking systems that pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible. Our spacecraft are intricate, remote-controlled machines that are evolving into robots designed to think for themselves. Among these pioneering systems were Meissen and Sherlud. Meissen was one of the first AI-based expert systems that was designed to diagnose and recommend treatments for bacterial infections. 
Around the same time, Sherlud showcased a basic grasp of language and the ability to carry out tasks as an early natural language processing program that could understand and respond to text-based commands in a limited environment. In the 1980s, this era saw the rise of expert systems which replicated human experience in specific domains through rule-based software applications. Connectionism or neural networks emerged as a groundbreaking approach inspired by the human brain, leading to the development of the backpropagation algorithm. Machine learning techniques such as decision trees and support vector machines allowed AI systems to learn from data and make predictions without explicit programming. Natural language processing made strides in text understanding and machine translation, while robotics integrated AI techniques to enable robots to navigate complex environments and perform tasks autonomously. Are, are we at the point today where we can apply AI? Absolutely, Stuart. In what uh, ways? Well, I feel that uh, artificial intelligence, and specifically expert systems or knowledge-based systems, now are applicable any place that specialized knowledge is used routinely to reach decisions, troubleshooting strategies, diagnoses, those areas. By the 1990s, the development of CD-ROMs and the internet led to significant advancements in AI. One of the most significant AI systems that emerged during this time was IBM's Deep Blue, which defeated chess champion Garry Kasparov in a game of chess. It's a man versus the computer, and right now, watching this enormous development of the computers, I mean, people probably have this fear. It's, 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 it's very deep still, but it's a fear. Who knows? Probably in the future, computer will replace us. I mean, will control our life. And uh, chess is probably the only, uh, uh, the only act uh, kind of activity, human activity, when we can compare our ability and computer. Kasparov was reportedly more upset about losing to this computer than when he lost his car keys. The 2000s saw the emergence of machine learning, which enabled AI systems to learn from data and improve over time. This led to significant breakthroughs in speech recognition, image classification, and natural language processing. Sounds more like science fiction than reality. Computers that can think, learn, and then improve. A local cyberneticist has made a landmark discovery, and his computers are doing some amazing things. Well, I can simply smile. I can uh, produce a pleased expression on my face. And our advanced machine vision systems can then pick up on the emotional response of the listener. Computer pathways that mimic brain functions as opposed to conventional computer programming. No human programmers are getting involved, no equations are being written, no theories are being produced. This is all happening automatically. The system can learn to do just about anything, which begs the question, will computers someday surpass us like in the Terminator movies? In the 2010s, AI continued to advance rapidly thanks to the growth of cloud computing and big data. AI systems became increasingly sophisticated, enabling them to perform tasks that were previously thought impossible, such as diagnosing diseases and grading student essays. And in 2011, IBM's Watson, which is another one of their AI systems, made history by competing on Jeopardy and defeating two of the game's all-time champions. And let me tell you, it was no easy feet. Watson had to process thousands of pages of information in seconds, analyze language, and come up with a response that was both accurate and witty. Watson left the other contestants looking like a deer caught in headlights with its lightning fast reflexes and encyclopedic knowledge. The audience was on the edge of its seats as Watson buzzed in with his signature robotic voice, answering questions on topics ranging from literature to pop culture with ease. Two -day total of Advancements in artificial technology have captivated the world's attention. In 2020, OpenAI released GPT-3, one of the largest and most powerful language models ever created. This AI-powered system is capable of generating human-like text and has the potential to revolutionize a wide range of industries from healthcare to finance to education. 
But while the potential benefits of AI are vast, there are also concerns about the risks associated with its advancements. It has the potential of civilizational destruction. <laughs> this movie is like Terminator, but it wouldn't quite happen like Terminator um, because the, the intelligence would be in the data centers. Right. Uh, the robot's just the end effector. Some worry that AI systems could become so powerful and so autonomous that they pose a threat to human safety and security. A major warning about ChatGPT, that artificial intelligence that can do things like pass the bar exam or school paper in just a few seconds. Wow. The tech genius behind it now fears he's created a monster. I think people should be happy that we're a little bit scared of this. I think people should be You're happy. a little bit scared. A little bit, yeah, You personally. I, I think if I said I were not, you should either not trust me or be very unhappy I'm in this job. As AI continues to advance, Boston Dynamics' AI-powered robots push the boundaries of engineering and robotics. While these sophisticated machines have the potential to revolutionize industries, enhancing efficiency and safety, they also raise the ethnical concerns regarding workforce displacement and unintended consequences of autonomous decision-making. The unfolding story of Boston Dynamics' creations invite us to consider both the promise and the perils of the future intertwined with artificial intelligence. Also advancing quickly, the rise of an AI software known as Midjourney, created in 2022, challenges the very existence of artistry. With its ability to produce strikingly authentic and original masterpieces in just mere moments, Midjourney has the power to disrupt a traditional art industry, leaving artists questioning their roles in a rapidly evolving landscape. Even if you say that AI doesn't have agency, well, it's very likely that people will use the AI um, as a tool. If the AI is smart enough, are they using the tool or is the tool using them? So I think things, things are getting weird and they're getting weird fast. In the world of computer vision, AI-powered algorithms have made significant progress in recent years. They are now capable of recognizing and analyzing images and video with incredible accuracy, leading to breakthroughs in fields such as autonomous vehicles, facial recognition, and medical imaging. Meanwhile, AI-powered robots are becoming increasingly common, with applications ranging from manufacturing to healthcare to education. As we move forward into the future, it's up to us to navigate this complex and rapidly evolving field and to ensure that the development of AI is guided by a commitment to creating a better world for all. All right, guys, that's all I have on the history of AI in this video. If you have any comments, make sure to comment in the comments below. If you liked it, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video that covers AI.